The Prime Minister, I am not the permanent secretary to the Treasury. You must ask Sir Frank. What would Sir Frank say? It is not for a humble mortal such as I to speculate on the <laughs> complex and elevated deliberations of the mighty. But in general, I think Sir Frank believes that if the Treasury knows that something has to be done, the Cabinet shouldn't have too much time to think about it. <laughs> but that's an outrageous view. Yes, indeed. It's known as Treasury policy. <laughs> I suppose the Cabinet has questions. Well, I think Sir Frank's view is that um, on the rare occasions when the Treasury understands the questions, the Cabinet doesn't understand the answers. <laughs> what does Frank think he is? At least old Humpy knows his place. I must say, it was very loyal of him to tell me the truth about Frank like that. They usually all stick together, don't they? I think Sir Humphrey's rather anxious because of your recent threat to make Sir Frank head of the Home Civil Service instead of him. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if I should do something about that. Or if there isn't something to be gained out of keeping them both in suspense. Uh, well, Prime Minister, you gain an anxious Cabinet Secretary. Is that what you want? It wasn't just that he was unhappy about the cuts, Frank. He was also very unhappy about your papers arriving at such short notice. I hope you explained it was because of America's sudden change of policy over interest rates. My dear Frank, I defended you gallantly. <laughs> leaving the Prime Minister in no doubt as to the real cause of the rush. Oh, good. Thanks. <laughs> Humphrey, um, perhaps it would be better uh, if the proposal came from both of us. Both of us. <laughs> well, we are effectively joint heads of the civil service. Not as I understand it, Frank. Oh, I think so, effectively. I think not effectively. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I look after the financial side and you look after the establishment side. But, Frank, with respect, the cabinet secretary is the de jure head of the civil service. With respect, Humphrey, the Cabinet Secretary and the Permanent Secretary to the Treasury are de facto joint heads of the Civil Service. Be that as it may, Frank. We can't put up the proposal together. I must remain aloof and judicial. Now, you must make the running, and after weighty consideration, I will finally come down on your side. <laughs> the Prime Minister, it is not for me to speak for Sir Frank. Well, I'm asking you speak for yourself. You're Cabinet Secretary. You're also head of the Civil Service. Am I indeed? How gratifying. <laughs> for the moment. <laughs> well, Prime Minister, as Cabinet Secretary, I'm, of course, most eager to reduce public spending, but as head of the Civil Service, I'm responsible for the very real dangers which will arise administratively if a pay rise does not come through very soon. It's so difficult for me, you see, as I'm wearing two hats. Yes, isn't that rather awkward for you? Uh, not if uh, one is in two minds. <laughs> but at a time of national stringency, it is neither wise nor in the national interest. I don't like to criticise my colleague, but in my view, Sir Frank, though no doubt acting from the best of motives, should have placed the good of the nation before the narrower sectional interest of civil servants. You see, this claim raises serious questions. Should I talk to Frank about this, too? Um, no, no, Arnold. Uh, no, leave it to me. Not at the moment. Uh, Frank's got a lot of problems coming up. Really? He hasn't mentioned them? Uh, probably because he doesn't know about them yet. <laughs> what do you think, Humphrey? Well, it's not for me to say, Prime Minister. I have a vested interest, and uh, Sir Frank is in charge of civil service pay, aren't you, Frank? Civil servants have to decide how to carry it out. Like a secretary, deciding how to lay out a letter. Yes. <laughs> No, um, I think Sir Humphrey knows what I mean. Uh, well, it's up to you, Frank. You're in charge of civil service pay. <laughs> We'd never recruit. I mean, morale would plummet. I'm sure Sir Humphrey would agree. Humphrey? Well, it's my opinion that um, Sir Frank is in charge of civil service pay. <laughs> and I do think that the Prime Minister is entitled to an answer, Frank. Well, they could choose whether to renounce their honour or whether to renounce their pension indexing. What do you think, Sir Humphrey? Well, or will you be Mr. Appleby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure that Sir Frank has gone into this very thoroughly. No, not thoroughly enough. You know, I'd felt all along, at a time of stringency, that the Treasury claim was too high, not in the nation's interest. Very nice for civil servants, of course, but not something that the Cabinet Secretary, with his higher loyalty, could recommend. And that is why we don't let the Permanent Secretary to the Treasury become head of the civil service. So